3 Reasons Why You Shouldn't Buy or Use a Laptop for Crypto Mining One of the worst ideas you can have is to mine cryptocurrency on your laptop. Here are a few of the reasons why. We all have different perspectives on cryptocurrency mining. Some people adore it, while others are less enthusiastic. But there are some points on which most of us can agree. One of these is that mining cryptocurrency on a laptop is a bad idea. Mining cryptocurrency is best left to desktop computers or custom-built mining rigs. In this article, we'll go over why you should never buy or use a laptop for mining. 1. It is not profitable to mine on a laptop. For starters, one of the primary barriers to mining on laptops is that laptop GPUs are typically weaker and more expensive than desktop GPUs. There's a reason you can get a gaming laptop while most GPUs are still out of stock, miners aren't interested in laptops, and there's a reason for that. Yes, we have Ampere and RDNA 2 GPUs for laptops, and they're excellent for gaming. However, in terms of raw power, a laptop NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080T is roughly as fast as a desktop RTX 3060T in both benchmarks and proper mining performance, hash rate. This creates a problem because, in most cases, it will take several months to see anything resembling a return on investment. A laptop with an RTX 3080T will cost between $3,000 and $3,500. According to the Ethereum network's difficulty as of this press, if it mines as well as an RTX 3070, you can expect to earn $2 per day, $60 per month, or $720 per year. It will take 5 years to even see a return on your investment. That's with good thermals, which you don't have, your laptop probably doesn't have enough cooling capacity to efficiently move heat out, and your computer will be constantly thermal throttling to keep up. And we haven't even accounted for electricity costs, if you have a laptop on a charger drawing power from your wall 24 hours a day, your earnings will be even thinner. You'd be better off spending the money on a proper mining rig or a desktop computer. GPUs are still scarce, but if you intend to mine, you're probably better off buying GPUs from scalpers than using a gaming laptop. 2. Laptops aren't designed for mining. Then there's the fact that laptops aren't designed for mining and, as a result, shouldn't be used for it. And this isn't just a recommendation from the manufacturer, the way laptops are designed makes it a bad idea. To begin, consider why desktop GPUs can generally mine cryptocurrency. Desktop computers, particularly mid-tower and full-tower models, have plenty of internal space for components to breathe. And that space is critical. Cryptocurrency mining is a computationally intensive activity that can use your entire GPU, crunching numbers to verify transactions while emitting a lot of heat. Desktop GPUs have active cooling, fans or water cooling, to help them dissipate the heat they generate. And the computer case has a lot of internal space as well as powerful intake slash exhaust fans to help heat escape from the computer. Laptops are no exception. However, they are not designed to withstand the amount of heat generated by mining. Laptops even gaming laptops, have a much thinner profile, and the interior space is far more constrained. The fans installed inside are also much smaller and less powerful. They're adequate for daily tasks, and gaming laptops can even play some games without breaking a sweat. Mining, on the other hand, is a much more strenuous activity. You should consider that mining is usually a 24-hour process, and you're putting a lot of unnecessary strain on your laptop. 
You can not only damage your GPU in the long run, but you can also wear out the teeny tiny fans, which complicates matters even more. Furthermore, heat is not good for your device's battery. In addition, if your laptop gets extremely hot, the battery may degrade. It's a chain of unfortunate events that can cause your laptop to die much sooner than it would otherwise. 3. The E-Waste Conundrum We've already established that forcing your laptop to mine cryptocurrency can hasten its demise, but what happens after it dies? Depending on what you fried, you might be able to revive it, but most laptops used for mining typically have only one destination, a landfill, where it becomes e-waste. In most cases, once a GPU has been ruined by mining, it cannot be repaired, so it must be discarded. With appropriate thermals, the average lifespan of a mining GPU is about half of what it would otherwise be with typical usage. The same thing happens with laptops, if you fry the GPU, depending on the model, you might be able to repair it, but in most cases, it's dead and will be added to the growing e-waste statistics. You can also damage other components, which may have varying gravity levels ranging from repairable to completely dead. Nonetheless, everything ends up in a landfill sooner than it should. Don't mine on your laptop, please. The moral of the story is that under no circumstances should you mine on your laptop. You run a high risk of damaging it, or at the very least shortening its lifespan, while making very little money. You'll be much better off mining in another way. If you only want to use one GPU for passive gains, you can build a desktop PC with plenty of cooling. You can also build a proper mining rig if you want to mine Ethereum, or purchase an ASIC miner if you want to mine Bitcoin.